That's right. The Mission Inn Hotel and Spa is essentially a staple for the Inland Empire. If you live out here, you know what it is, you know where it is. It was built in 1902 and has hosted several presidents. But when we're talking about that legal battle, the center of it is those lease terms. And that's essentially going to determine the fate of the museum inside and the foundation, which are separate entities from the hotel itself. The Mission Inn Hotel and Spa is a beloved Spanish-style landmark in the heart of downtown Riverside, attracting tens of thousands of people every year for its rich history, the annual Festival of Lights holiday celebration, and for its museum. We provide access to the artifacts, we provide access through tours, and without that, the only way anyone would be able to see the hotel is through meals, hotel stays, or weddings, which means many of our most, um, most of our citizens would never be able to experience it. And apparently that's what's at stake. The Mission Inn Foundation runs the museum within the historic landmark, but after a decades long run, it could face eviction because of disagreements over lease terms. It would sever the foundation and the Mission Inn Museum from the hotel. It's basically the hotel is our soul. That is the whole purpose of our being, is to promote this hotel. The foundation has already created a petition garnering nearly 1,500 signatures. According to the city of Riverside, a lease was entered between the Riverside Redevelopment Agency and the Historic Mission Incorporation. Problem is, the agency was dissolved by the state legislature in 2013. A city successor agency was then implemented to wind down redevelopment activities, which the foundation falls under. As of September 29th, the Mission Inn Corporation served the successor and the Mission Inn Foundation a notice to vacate the premises. The 30-day notice is a prerequisite that our attorneys, our litigation attorneys, had to serve on the foundation just as the city of Riverside has done because the lease is with the city of Riverside. The foundation is a subtenant. Attorney for the Mission Inn Corporation, David Bristow, says they've been trying to work with the foundation to provide alternatives. Every turn they have refused what we've offered them. The very first offer we received was, was five years and we're told that uh, we wouldn't know what would happen after that point. Hooglin says according to an original lease from 1993, the foundation should be there for 50 years. But according to the corporation's attorney, that timeline is inaccurate. Bristow says a lease was entered in the year 2000, expiring in 2022. And I'm told the corporation and foundation were both notified about all of this back in April of 2022. It's also worth noting that when I spoke to both sides earlier today, they say it's unfortunate that it's come to this and they're hoping they can find a solution. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.